you know, times are changing and now we ask ourselves, uh, can your zip code tell you more about yourself than your genetic code? And the reason is that we spend a lot of time um, growing and uh, playing and uh, working in an area where we were originally uh, born or have lived in for a number of years. And what we're seeing is that there's a differences. We've seen that some of our communities, particularly our communities of color, are, um, you know, are struggling with issues of poverty, uh, stable housing, uh, transportation, financial toxicity. And so if you're a cancer patient and are struggling with some of these issues, it's really hard to focus on your health care. And so uh, we are now as working with our medical community, both um, in the community, in medical settings, and in hospitals, to see if we can better understand our community's needs and their social needs. Uh, and so these social needs are what we're calling social determinants of health. Health is truly impacted, and so these are all the non-medical areas that, that we are focusing on. And about 50% of our social needs impact our health. So it's really um, important for us to begin working with our partners, uh, asking sensitive questions of our patients to see how we can help them deal with some of these uh, social needs and, um, and work with our community partners to address if it's transportation or if it's uh, unstable housing or food insecurity that we can help other work with other groups to address those needs for our patients so that they can concentrate on their health and looking at better health outcomes.